Good day everyone. Let's start our lesson by recalling and describing prisms. Prism is a solid figure that has two congruent polygonal faces and it has rectangular faces. Now, the name of the prism depends on the shape of its basis. In this figure, it is called square prism since the bases here are square and the number of rectangular faces, this one, the rectangular faces, also depends on the number of sides of the base. So, this square prism has four rectangular faces since there are four sides of a square. Here are some nets and its 3D figures of prisms. We have here pentagonal prism because the base is a pentagon with five faces. Square prism. This one is triangular prism. Since the bases are rect triangle with three rectangular faces, hexagonal prism, and this one is a rectangular prism, and so many more names of prisms depending on its base. Our lesson focuses on getting the surface area of prisms, specifically square and rectangular prisms only. Now, going back to the meaning of surface area, surface area is the sum of all the areas of the faces of a certain solid figure. And the sum of the areas measured is the surface area of the solid figure. So, for example, here, find the surface area of this rectangular prism that measures 10 cm long, 6 cm wide, and 4 cm tall. Again, to find for the surface area of this figure, we need to get the area of each shape. And it is easier for us to visualize and get the area of each shape if we make a net of this prism, so like this one. Now, what we're going to do is to find the area of each shape here. Okay. Uh, first is we find the area here of the rectangle. So we have length times width, and the length is 6 centimeters, and the width is 4 centimeters. So we have 6 times 4, we have 24 square centimeters. So we have already the area of this shape. Next is this one. So this is 4 centimeters for the width, and uh, this, this uh, measurement here is 10 centimeters. As you can see here, it's the same. So that is 10 times 4, we have 40 square centimeters. So we are done with this one and this one. Next is this uh, bigger rectangle. Okay, so we have here length times width. The length is 10 centimeters and the width is 6 centimeters here. This one, and we get 60 square centimeters. Now, take note that this side and this side are equal. So this one and this side or this figure and this figure are also equal. And this one, this figure, and this figure are also equal. So what we're gonna do is to just multiply the area of this figure, multiply it by 2, so that you can get already the two areas. And also this one, multiply it by 2, so we have here 40 square centimeters. Uh, we multiply it by 2, we get 80 square centimeters in this two figure. And this one is 24 square centimeters, multiply it by 2, we have 48 square centimeters. And this pair is also 60 square centimeters times 2, we have 120 square centimeters. So the, the areas of the figures, of the six figures, are 48 uh, square centimeters, 80 square centimeters, and 120 square centimeters. And what we're going to do is to add all the areas of six rectangles. So we have here 48 plus 80 plus 120, we get 248 square centimeters. Therefore, the surface area of this rectangular prism is 248 square centimeters. Okay, now what the question here is, what is the formula in getting the surface area of the prism? Now let's analyze again and try to figure out the formula for the surface area of the rectangular prism without getting its net every time we solve for its surface area. Now take note that this is the height of the prism. This one here, 4 centimeters. And this is the length of the prism, this one, the eight, 10 centimeters, and this is the width of the, the prism, this one. This one is 6 centimeters. So what we did earlier is we multiply its length and width, the length and height, and width and height. And then we multiply it to 2, right? Therefore, we can say that the formula for the surface area of rectangular prism is 
2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Or let's simplify this formula. We have 2. So you get the sum of the product of length times width, the length times height, the width times height, and then you multiply it to 2. Okay, so this is already the formula for the square prism. And then, uh, if it is a square prism, the formula is S squared, since the base or the bases are square. So we have S squared plus 2SH, since the sides or the length and width are equal. So we can just write side times the height, and then we multiply it with 2. Then again, after that, after we get the uh, area of this square plus the 2SH, then we multiply it with 2. So that's the formula for the square prism. Let's have more examples. So we have find the surface area of the figure. So we don't need to get the net of this figure and find for the area of each shape. We just have to follow the formula, which is this one. Then we substitute. So the length is 6 cm, the width is 3 cm. Then you get its product. We have 6 times 3 and for the length and the height, so this is 6 times 2 cm. And for the width times height, we have 3 cm times 2 cm. So simplify this first inside the parentheses. So we have 18 square centimeters plus 12 square centimeters plus 6 square centimeters. Then we add this 3 areas. Then we multiply it to 2. Therefore, the surface area of this prism is 72 square centimeters. Next, find the surface area of this figure. So using the formula, the, get, uh, the sum of the product of length times width and the length times height and the width times height, then multiply it to 2. So for the length, we have here 10 centimeters, and for the width is 8 centimeters. So you just have to substitute the given in the formula. And then for the length and height, this is 10 centimeters, and the height is 12 centimeters, is the height of the prism. Then for the width, it's 8 centimeters times the height, which is 12 centimeters. So I believe that you can identify which is the length, width, and the height of the prism. And then you just have to uh, substitute in the formula. Then simplify. We have 80 square centimeters. This one is 120 square centimeters and 8 times 12 is 96 square centimeters. You add these three areas, then that is 296, then multiply to 2. The surface area of this prism is 592 square centimeters. Next, we have the surface area of this figure. So again, using the formula, we have the length is 3 inches and the width is 2 inches. Then length and height, so we have 3 times 8. And for the width and height, so we have 2 times 8. Then simplify. So we have 6 square inches, 18 square inches, and 16 square inches. Simplify, this is 40. Then multiply to 2. So the surface area of this prism is 80 square inches. Let's apply surface area of prism in this word problem. So we have Victoria bought gifts for her friends and family. Before buying the gift wrapper, she considers the dimensions of the gift box that she will use. Since one of her gifts is a picture frame, she made a box that is same as prism. The size of its square base side is 50 centimeters and its height is 40 centimeters. What is the amount of gift wrapper needed to wrap the box? So our keyword here is the amount of gift wrapper needed to wrap the box so meaning we are going to get the surface area right since that is the surface of the of the box now and uh, the figure is a square prism since it says here that it's square based okay now we use this formula okay so s squared plus 2 sh then get the sum then multiply to 2. okay so we have here the the side is 50 centimeters then you get uh you, then you square it so that is 50 square plus this is 2 times the side is 50 centimeter times the height which is 40 centimeters so simplify we have this is 2500 and this is 2000 plus 
I mean, 2,000 times 2, that's why it's 4,000. Then we add this 2,500 plus 4,000, we have 6,500. Then after that, you multiply it by 2. Therefore, the surface area is 13,000 square centimeters. So I multiply 6,500 times 2. So our answer is she needs 13,000 square centimeters of gift wrapper. Next is Jessica is planning to paint her rectangular shaped room. What is the surface area she needs to paint excluding the floor and ceiling if the room measures 5 meters long, 4 meters wide, and 10 meters high? Now take note that the ceiling and the floor are not included in painting, only its walls. So we remove the areas of its bases, which is the length, and length times width multiplied by 2. Since there are two bases and in the given, the two bases are not included. Therefore, our formula is um, the sum of the product of length times height plus uh, width times height and multiply it by 2. Then we substitute. We have here the length is 5 meters long times the height is 10 meters plus the width is 4 meters times the height is 10 meters. So simplify that. So we have 50 square meters. This is 40 square meters, 90 square meters times 2. We have the surface area is 180 square meters. So our answer is she needs to paint 180 square meters area. In applying word problems involving surface area, please analyze properly since there are other faces or bases that are not included. If the bases are not included, then we are getting its lateral area. It is the total area of the sides or faces of the solid figure, and it does not include the area of the bases. So that's about the surface area of prisms. I hope that you learned something from this video.